Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence Jr. too. It's been announced and the Crawford fans are begging Earl Spence not to take the fight. Before I get into it, hit the thumbs up and sub and notification bell. That way you get updated when I drop the news content like this. With that being said, let's get into the video. Look, is this fear? Are Terrence Crawford, Bud Crawford fans feeling fear of Earl Spence Jr.? Because it doesn't make sense to me. There should be a rematch. There was a rematch clause. Earl Spence Jr. is only 33 years old. He wasn't the older fighter in this fight. He was the younger fighter. And he's had no losses in his career. But this one, this was his first. So why should he retire or why should he not fight again? Now, Terrence Crawford put on a master class. He completely dominated our class. It wasn't even competitive against Earl Spence Jr. Earl Spence wants the rematch. Why shouldn't he get it? Terrence Crawford fans are like trying to talk Earl Spence out of this rematch and it doesn't make any sense. If Earl Spence loses again, then he loses again. And it's proven without a doubt that Terrence Crawford, while he probably is, will be proven to be the better man because he will beat him twice, seals the deal, is done, he moves on with his career, and Earl Spence, he can either come back from it or retire from all the money he made in these two fights. But at the end of the day, why shouldn't he fight again? He's taken very little damage throughout his entire career. He's taken more damage outside the ring than he has inside the ring. So again, I'm not understanding why people are telling him not to take the fight. In my opinion, in the rematch, he'll be better equipped. He'll do better prepared. Because what I look at is, I see Earl Spence was out of the ring for more than a year. So he had ring rust. This time, he's been active. He's getting right back in there with Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford doesn't have the advantage of just having a fight and then coming into this fight while Earl Spence sat on the shelf trying to make this fight. No, they're both going to be active. And if it is at 154, both guys will be fighting for the first time at 154. And who knows, it may benefit Earl Spence Jr. better because he's the bigger natural man. So it's less weight that he has to cut. So as I see it and I'm looking at it, he's got two advantages going into this fight. One, he's not ring rusted. Two, he doesn't have to cut as much weight so his body should react better. Now, here's the question. Who do I believe will win the rematch? Judging and based off of what I saw with the two of them in the ring, Terrence Croft is just the better fighter. I think that's what it looks like. That's what it appears to be because he completely, like I said, dominated him. But this is boxing. And inside that square circle, anything can happen on any given night. Who knows? Maybe it just wasn't Earl Spencer's night. Maybe the ring rust, as I alluded to earlier, did have a major factor. We don't know, but the rematch will tell us. And that's why I want to see the rematch. If Spence feels like he's ready, if his team feels like he's ready, then he's ready. Again, he's only 33 years old. He's only got one loss. Nobody's really beat him up besides Terrence. So after taking one loss where you got beat up, that's not a career ending fight. Do the rematch. See what happens. Maybe you lose again. Maybe you win. But you dare to be great. And that's what Spence is doing. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below. If you feel like Earl Spence should skip this fight, tell me why. If you feel like he should take the fight, then also tell me why.